All right, Leo, so I pulled a random card. It says, all you endeavor goes your way because of empowerment. Keep sharing feelings with friends and family. And then on the back it says, time to do something different. Step away so that you open up to the prospect of another journey and success will come. So that is two messages for some of my Leos that had to hear that. All right, so... I'm a, um I'm probably just gonna do like mi mixed messages for you guys, you know. So y'all just take what resonates. Um, if I can do a story, I'll do a story. But at this point, it's take what resonates. And um, this is a freestyle um spread. All right. So the first card we got is the Ace of Cups. Wow, we got the will. Start off good. And then we got the full reverse. So there is definitely a renewal of some sort, Leo. And um I just felt like there could be somebody or a group of people that may be showing you um an overwhelming amount of love right now. And whoever this is that may be showing you this love Leo I feel like it's because you could be on top of your game right now some of you guys could be experiencing a lot of great karma right now and I'm just getting this energy where the only reason why somebody could be wanting a second chance with you or showing you so much love is because once again you could come off as somebody who is very lucky you see what I'm saying? This person has a pair of dice around her neck and some chips she's standing on. So some of you guys may have just recently hit the lottery. Maybe you go to the casino a lot, Leo, or you play scratch-off tickets. I don't know. Maybe you just want something big. But people that's showing you this, I'm hearing overwhelming amount of love and attention. It's because you've seen somebody who, um, I'm hearing, has your head on straight and, you know, is very blessed. You see what I'm saying? But I just felt like whoever these people is or this person is, they're not meant to, to come with you, Leo. Some of you guys, this is somebody that you have fell out of love with. If this is a love interest that's coming back trying to show this love and, and affection towards you. I feel like some of y'all have fell out of love with this person. But even if it's not a love interest, you're still no fool. You're not. I feel like some of y'all may not be taking a chance to... Um, to, to take, you know, to accept the simple fact that somebody, um, showing some love, Leo. But let's dive deeper in this situation. Okay, clarify the Ace of Cups, the Will, and the Fool, please. Some of y'all, it's a water sign, an Aquarius, or it could be an Aries or a fixed sign, like a Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, or an Aquarius. Y'all take what resonate and roles can be reversed. So if this is not your energy, it can be their energy. But y'all is experiencing a lot of love right now, Leo. I'm hearing a lot of abundance. It ain't even just about love. Abundance of, you know, prosperity, abundance of love, you know, abundance of attention. But we got legal right here. So some of you guys, this could be somebody that, um, maybe they feel like they own you, Leo, whoever this is. Some of y'all, this could be somebody that, you could be already married to. Um, but I'm also getting this energy that some of you guys could be given an opportunity or you could be given an offer, giving somebody opportunities to take you to court. I don't know. For some of y'all, that's been coming out lately. Some of our Leos could be needing to go to court or you want somebody to take you to court. Maybe they're not taking you to court. Maybe they're not getting the divorce, but they're still trying to save their relationship. Some of y'all could be married to somebody and they're trying to save their relationship. And that could be the reason why somebody could be showing you so much overwhelming of, of love and affection and attention, Leo, because maybe they just don't want you to divorce them some of y'all did just come into some money legally like maybe you had just came maybe you just started getting some form of benefits because we do got legal and then we do have um the will right here maybe you just got some um i'm hearing somebody may have received a settlement or some social security benefits or some type of benefit something that was owed to you from the government some of you guys i am getting that energy now 
I'm also seeing that there could be something that is definitely going in your favor in regards of um, a relationship. So if you are divorcing this, if a specific person, Leo, if you are married to this person and you went to court, I feel like it's going to go in your favor. You see what I'm saying? And you may win that court case. I'm seeing so many different um, spreads. So some of y'all, like I said, you could be... Um, maybe you have already divorced somebody, Leo. For an example, if you was married, maybe you was already divorced somebody and they could be coming back and trying to like kiss your tail and show some love and be all up in your face. You see what I'm saying? Trying to shoot their shot. Some of y'all have a lot of people that in love that could be trying to shoot their shot. Maybe it has nothing to do with that. Some of y'all, this is not a particular person that's coming in to show you a lot of love and affection and attention. Some of y'all could have somebody in, or just other people in, in general trying to shoot their shot. But like I said, I'm hearing I'm no dummy. I feel like you just, you're not, some of y'all may not even be looking and looking for love right now. But y'all just take what resonate. These are mixed messages. Some of y'all got some paperwork y'all need to fill out. And it has to do with the government. But it's something about something going in your favor. I'm just getting this energy. If y'all have somebody coming in showing you an overwhelming amount of love, attention, and affection, some of y'all, maybe you feel like you need to think about it. Some of y'all feel like you need to think about it or whether you should take this person back or not. Maybe you could be wanting answers from this person. Yeah, they're trying to make it right with you. Yes, this is somebody that thinks they own you. But at the same time, some of y'all could be questioning this person about something. Some of my Leos are questioning this person about something. And I feel like somebody fell out of love. It's either you fell out of love or they fell out of love. But I feel like this is your energy, Leo. Now that you're on top of your game, now that you are blessed and winning in life, it's like you have, I feel like you have been fell in love with somebody or people. Yeah, this person is toxic. Y'all dealing with somebody who is toxic. Some of y'all, this person may try to stir up some drama. Maybe they may try to argue with you, Leo. You know, but I'm just getting this conflicted energy within this person because you're not taking them back. If there is somebody in particular, Leo, that is trying to show you a lot of love and affection, they want you to take them back. But I feel like you fell out of love with this person. Some of y'all could have been an Aquarius or a water sign. I already told you a fixed sign. But yes, I just felt like only thing you could think about is how they did you. You know, how much they tried to show, you know, show you. I'm hearing how much drama that they tried to you know, put on to you. So basically, some of y'all got somebody coming back that wants to come in and make it up to you, but I just felt like you cannot stop thinking about how this person did you, Leo. Literally. Stirring up drama, you know, has you in the mix of some drama with other people. For some of y'all, it's like you could be questioning this person. You could be wanting answers on why did they did what they did. Why did they stir up some drama? Some of you guys, there could be like jealousy involved. Maybe there were other people that was jealous of you and them. I'm hearing, or it could just be your person may have been jealous. Some of y'all, this person could, your person could be dealing with drugs, toxins. Maybe somebody could be trying to argue with you, with you because maybe they sprung out on drugs, Leo, or maybe they could be coming forward drunk. Some of y'all fell out of love or decided not to pursue a relationship with somebody because they 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 are very much dramatic i'm hearing full of drama and not only that i just felt like they could be very much have um some form of addictions like a drug addiction or something or a, a alcohol addiction or maybe even both for some of y'all like i said y'all just take what resonate my leos okay What up, spirit? This card, love coming out. It's always out. <laughs> some of you guys are being blessed with some tap, some untapped talents. Maybe you, your psychic abilities could be enhanced in Leo. When I look at the will and epiphany, because it says self-reflection, answer questions, untapped talents. So some of you guys could be blessed with some talents, a skill, a hobby, or something that you do, Leo. I'm getting this energy that you could be getting good, um, better and better at what it is that you are doing, Leo. But it is telling me a lot of y'all are walking away from toxic people, places, and things. Anything that's trying to stir up some drama, you know, and keep you conflicted, I feel like you could be walking away from it or them. I 
that was loud. Okay. What else? Mm, mm, mm. We got Queen of Swords. The truth is, somebody find it very difficult to mentally let you go. They can't even rest. We got the Four of Swords reversed. Somebody can't rest. Some of y'all have some air sign that cannot sleep. They can't sleep, or it could be the opposite. But they can't sleep because you are somebody that is really an asset in it. Like, you were somebody that was very beneficial to them, Leo, if you want to look at it in a love standpoint. I feel like you were somebody that was very beneficial to somebody, and they cannot accept the simple fact that it's over because, in reality, in their mind, it's not over. They coming back to invest into you. This is somebody that's coming back to give you a solid offer, but it may be slow because I feel like y'all haven't seen and heard this from this person in a very long time. For some of y'all. But let's clarify and see what's going on. I just feel like y'all not losing no sleep. They is. Somebody is literally trying to get, some of y'all got somebody who's trying to get some money out of you. I keep getting that twice. Somebody is trying to get some money out of you. Okay, this came out first. Okay, Ten of Swords, yeah. I just feel like it's just telling me that you are, you know, instead of simple fact, whatever truth that you know about this person or these people that has betrayed you, you 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 know, you're ending it. You're accepting it and you're ending it. Not necessarily accepting it, the betrayal, but you know what you know about these people and you're ending it, Leo. And now these people cannot sleep. They cannot rest. They cannot rest. Because whoever this is, they want to be with you. We got the four wands. There is somebody that has betrayed you, Leo, that wants to be with you. But you are seeing this person for who he really is. And I'm just getting this energy. They will not rest. Some of y'all could be in another relationship. Somebody cannot accept the simple fact that you may be in another relationship or you just may be happy. If you're not in another relationship, some of y'all could just be happy, you know, and focusing on your foundation right now. I'm, I'm just getting a lot of things are working in your favor, Leo. Literally. You are turning your back on people who purposely tried to stir up some drama. Purposely who, who somebody who has a lot of, you know, addictions. You're staying away from those people who have, who has, I'm just getting this energy. Y'all are staying away from people who love drama. Y'all staying away from people who are, who holding on to, um, I'm hearing toxic behavior or toxins like, substances like drugs, alcohol, you know, maybe somebody who's still, I, I feel like anybody who's doing these bad habits, have these bad habits, you're walking away from them, Leo, because you don't want nobody to interfere in what you got going on that's benefiting you, Leo, in your life. I feel like you accepting the truth of the simple fact that these people have betrayed you and you may have gave somebody a, a thousand chances, you know what I'm saying, and you have walked away and now you're winning in life. You're celebrating over the simple. Somebody is in their head about you celebrating without them, being happy without them, Leo. Literally, because some of y'all could be engaged. Some of y'all literally could be engaged to a whole other person and you could be happy. And you got a person from the past that find it very difficult to, you know, let, let it go. And accept the simple fact that you are in some form of engagement, right? Whether the engagement could be a, having a ring on your finger or whether you just getting get into that bag, Leo. Somebody cannot take the simple fact that it's like they want to, um, they want a piece of the pie, basically. Somebody wants a piece of the pie. They want a piece of the victory. They want a piece of the stability. You know what I'm saying? They want to win too, whoever this is. But I feel like it's over. We got death slash rebirth. Yes, I feel like it's over. I feel like you're ending a dead-end situation, Leo, you know, and you are walking away and, and you're you're celebrating this ending. Some of y'all are actually celebrating this ending, like you're about to get you a cup of, you know, a shot. I'm hearing somebody could be drinking a shot of tequila or a couple shots of tequila, but somebody could be, like, literally out celebrating. Maybe you are going to the bar, to the club, or you could just be, you know, going to get you a bottle or something and, and bring it home. And maybe you could be turning up the music, dancing, celebrating the ending. Some of y'all are celebrating some form of an ending. Some of y'all are celebrating a divorce. Some of y'all are celebrating um, some form of happiness that came in also. Like, it don't even have to be an ending of something that may have been um, betrayed, that has betrayed you. Some of y'all are celebrating a new home. 
Some of y'all are celebrating new homes. Some of y'all are celebrating something that has been very much beneficial to you. But just know that somebody literally in the behind the scenes is coming back. Even if they tried to come back before and it didn't work, somebody is coming back. Some of y'all have two people in your energy. Like I said, whether this is a new person that you're engaged to or in a relationship with and you have an old person or it could just be you and two other people in the background that you left behind. You see what I'm saying? Y'all take what resonates. But somebody wants to come forward. It's like they want to benefit off your, your transformation. They want to benefit off of your um, new beginning. They can't sleep. Or the simple fact that you could be happy and stable. I just keep hearing somebody just wants a piece of the pie, Leo. Let me move these cards up. Somebody wants a piece of the pie. I don't know who this is, but they want a piece of the pie. Some of y'all could be a water sign. I think I already said that. Or Aries or an Aquarius. Yep. And the truth is, somebody betrayed you. And now they sick. Or the simple fact that you are happy. And in another relationship with somebody. And if you're not in a relationship with somebody, like I said, you're happy and you're stable, period. And it's like they want to come in and, you know what I'm saying, to, to reap the rewards of something that you have gained. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly what I'm seeing. They want you to reward this person for treating them the way they treated you. Uh-uh. Now they sad and depressed. Yeah, this person is very much sad and depressed, Leo. Wow. They have a nervous breakdown. Whoever this is, they are upset. They is in a lot of anxiety about this ending. Somebody is in a lot of anxiety about this ending, Leo. This could be somebody who's not only sad and, and depressed and single, but they also could be literally um, done. Like, I'm, I'm hearing this person ain't got nowhere to go. Some of y'all's person could be homeless. Some of y'all. Some of y'all's person could be homeless. The rest of y'all, um, this person could be in another relationship, although trying to get back together with you. Because I am seeing that for some of my Leos. Some of y'all, this person could be in another relationship. If you're not in another relationship, Leo, this person could be in another relationship. But it is telling me that somebody that is sad and depressed over the simple fact that you have ended it with them. This is somebody that you probably kicked out a long time ago. For some of my Leos, y'all kicked this person out a long time ago. Okay, what is it, spirit, that we have for my Leo? This card is flipped over. This card is... Okay, this one will come out so bad. Okay, we got family room. We got journey. Wow. We got unexpected income. I knew it. Wealthy man. I knew it. I'm hearing that, Leo. Some of y'all was dealing with family and friends. Maybe you were living with them. Some of y'all were living with family and friends, right? And maybe they kicked you out. Some of you guys, maybe they kicked you out or maybe you left on your own. But I feel like you have been dealing with family, whether this is a romantic love interest or whether you were dealing with, like, living with a family like your mom, your sister, your brother. I don't know. But some of y'all family may have kicked you out and put you through a lot, Leo. And it's either that they forced you to get up out of their house or they kicked you out. You see what I'm saying? But somebody packed their bags and left. I feel like this is the same energy. But it also can be different for certain Leos. Because some of y'all, it wasn't even a romantic interest. It could have just been your family you was living with. And maybe you had to leave. And I'm just getting this energy. Now they want to come back because... You got some money. Some of y'all, this person wants you to, some of y'all, somebody could be wanting you to come back to the house or want, or something like that. If somebody left you, if you didn't kick them out, they really just had the same energy. I'm getting repetitive energy. Somebody wants a piece of the pile because you got some money. The same energy keep popping up. Spirit, can we get some new energy? Because some of y'all, it's your family. Maybe they kicked you out and now that you came up in with some money, now they want you to come back. The rest of y'all, it's a romantic love interest that could be wanting to come back and maybe you kicked them out and they could be only wanting to, or they left on their own and they could be wanting to come back because they see you stepped your game up, Leo. Y'all be careful with that energy. Somebody, people want to come back in your life, you know, that was stirring up some drama, Leo, 
they want to come back and eat off eat off of your whatever you have gained. They want to sit at the table. They want to sit at the table. Somebody taking chances. Even if they know they did you wrong, they still want to be in your face in your face. But I'll just keep you in the same energy. Spirit, can I switch the energy up a little bit, please? <laughs> we got flashback. I'm just so tired of the same energy. We got power position. It's like every time I try to change the energy, you keep staying stuck in that energy. We got cultivation. Yeah, y'all got a lot of people from the past returning, Leo. But I feel like these could be people that may have left you traumatized. Some of you guys, these are people that could be watching you, Leo. I'm getting camera. Like somebody could have a secret camera. Like I'm just getting this spying energy. Some of you guys, y'all have somebody from the past or just people spying on you. You could be somebody in a, in a, um... I'm here in a better position than you used to. That's exactly what I heard. Some of y'all could be in a better position than you used to. You could be somebody that is a boss. Some of y'all could be um, entrepreneurs in a way. But somebody is watching you gain some form of victory. Somebody is watching you gain some form of control over a, a, a situation, Leo. But um, I'm hearing this is it's because... You have, re you have reaped some form of rewards, Leo. But I feel like you have, this is something you started from the ground up. Some of y'all started an organization from the ground up, I'm hearing. Or like I said, maybe a business or something. But I'm just getting this energy where you could be, have, you have, you could be in a position of power right now, Leo. And, um, and it's like somebody wants to come back or other people wants to really come back and, and reap the rewards. I don't know why, but the same energy keeps popping up. No matter how much I try to avoid <clears throat> this energy, it keeps following me. Or following y'all. Because maybe people are putting pressure on you. Some of y'all got people trying to pressure you to take them back. Maybe they... I'm just getting that energy. I'm here to bait you to take them back. People are trying to bait you to take them back by using this tactic I'm hearing. Love, attention, affection. That's probably why I was getting this overwhelming amount of love and affection and attention. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like you don't love them and you know these people don't love you because they're toxic. They only want to hold on to you because what suits them? What benefits them, Leo? These people haven't even changed. They haven't even made no change. But I just feel like people are trying to bait you I feel like this is every aspect of your life, friends, family, work, I don't call these, I don't know. People are trying to bait you into taking them back, Leo, all because they want a part of the money. They want a part of the benefit. They want a part of your energy. They want a part, listen, they want to show fake love, Leo, people, but I feel like these are the same people that traumatize you. These are the same people that, you know, that was watching you, Leo, at one point in time suffer, and they so-called loved you. You know, like I said, some of y'all been in an abusive relationship where your own friends and family may have allowed, you know, allowed you to, to stay stuck in that relationship. I'm hearing some of y'all, somebody give you poor advice and to stay stuck in a traumatic relationship. But I am getting that energy for some of y'all. These are um, people watching you. It's like some of y'all have people that is triggered over the simple fact that somebody does love you. Like I said, some of y'all could be in another relationship. But it's, I just keep getting this energy. If you are, it's like people from the past want to come in and interfere in what you got going on. That's good because I feel like y'all are in this blessing energy with y'all. A lot of y'all are being highly favored. Whether you're being highly favored by your new love interest. Whether you're being highly favored by an engagement. Whether you, like I said, maybe you could be engaged to somebody new. The rest of y'all, I just feel like there is people that's actually showing you some type of love. And there's other people that is triggered over the simple fact that other people that love that um loves you. Like I said, you got everything down pat. You could be somebody in, you know, in power, Leo. Some of y'all, it could be your boss. Some of y'all, there could be people triggered over the simple fact that you love yourself. It don't even be that it have to be the simple fact that other people or another person showing some love to you. Because like I said, some of y'all are in a new commitment. Some of y'all are in engagement with somebody. And maybe you're looking to get married one day with that person. The rest of y'all, it could just be you showing love to yourself. And people are triggered over the simple fact that you love yourself, Leo. Or that you are in a new 
loving relationship with somebody. Some of y'all in a relationship with somebody that has their own business. And maybe this is not you. Some of y'all, maybe you have your business and they have their own business. I don't know why, but people is trying to get next to you because you found somebody that could be very much supportive. Some of y'all have a love interest that has their own money and they have been supporting you, Leo, throughout this journey. Or they have been supporting you towards the end of... Some, some of y'all have friends and family members, right, or colleagues that may have kicked you out the house, right, and maybe somebody took you in, and the same person that took you in when you was homeless is the same person that, that is, like, literally not only supporting you uh, from the beginning, but they also could be, like, um, with you, like, maybe y'all ended up being in a relationship with this person, some of y'all end up being in a relationship with somebody that took you in, um, Leo, and it could be a boss. Maybe this person helped you get a job. Some of y'all, this person could have helped you get a job. And maybe you ended up dating your um your coworker or you end up dating your boss. So not only they may have helped you get a job, but they may have also leveled you up, Leo. And they 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 y'all end up getting into like a romantic love interest. And people is literally trying to like hate on that. Somebody is triggered over the simple fact that somebody loves you, Leo. I'm getting that for somebody. And it could be an authority figure. It's somebody that probably wants to have control over you. Like I said, some of y'all should own ex. Some of y'all should own ex that's mad because you have other people that love you. Some of y'all should own friends and family members that's mad because you have somebody that love you. Some of y'all, it could be anybody. And, and if it ain't, once again, if it ain't nobody that loves you, you love yourself and they mad about that. Because not only you love yourself, but you've been through this journey by yourself and you have leveled up, Leo, despite whatever it is that you have been through. You see what I'm saying? Y'all just take what resonates because I'm seeing different messages. But this energy just, just it stays, you know, it's stuck. No matter how many times I try to switch cards, it's the energy is following me. So I guess Spirit wants this message out that y'all have people from the past that's trying to bait you to take them back, Leo. These are people that is very much sad, depressed, don't nobody want them, they're single, and don't it don't mean that they're nobody want them. Because some of y'all people don't want them. Some people just choose to be single because they could be down and out right now in their material life and they don't want to be with somebody while they broke. But it is telling me some of y'all, this person feels single out. Because so I'm just seeing that y'all Somebody going through some form of awakening. Ever since they kicked you out or ever since somebody kicked you to the curb, Leo, literally, they could be going through some form of aware awakening. Or ever since you kicked them out, maybe you making them wake up and realize who the F you are. Because not only that, you bossed up, you, you got away from them, you bossed up, and you replaced them. Maybe you found somebody else. I think I just picked up on this energy yesterday on another spread. But this could be in a, in a different way. But just know y'all got different aspects of different groups of people, right, in your life that's coming back. You will, I'm going to say it's coming back in your life that is trying to bait you to take them back. And I don't feel like it's one person. I feel like it's more than one person who's trying to bait you to take them back because they want that control over you. They want control over you. They want control over your emotions, Leo. It's like they want you to start from the ground up. People is purposely coming in to try to slow you down, Leo. Y'all be careful. But I feel like y'all have worked really, really hard to get with y'all where y'all at. Y'all be careful. People is literally trying to come back in your life and bait you to take them back because they want to slow your life down. But it says be lighthearted. Finding out things coming to light. Adapt, change, heal. Yes, I just felt like you definitely is in this, you know, disciplined energy, Leo. And I'm just getting you to start to see everybody's true colors. Some of y'all seen everybody's true colors. Like I said, some of y'all have already healed. But you have somebody upset because they don't have control over you. You have made some form of a change. You flipped the script on somebody, Leo. You have made some form of a change and stepped your game up. Whether you stepped your game up by yourself and leveled up or whether you stepped your game with another person or somebody helped you. Some of y'all, somebody helped you, you know, get back to where you need to be in your life. Because maybe you was down and out for a while. Like I said, some of y'all been homeless before. Maybe you have been kicked out by colleagues, friends, family members, you know, you you, mouse, you found somebody on the streets to help you, or you found somebody that had their own business, and they asked you to come work for them, and ever since then, you've been doing really good, Leo, like, people expect, people expected you to, to, like, literally stay in that energy, Leo, and suffer, like, literally, this is all bait right here, but I feel like you're running from it, you running from it, because you outgrown these people, Leo, you're you running from it, you have already made change and you're letting go. You're letting go. You know these people are trying to slow you down. 
You know what's up. It's like the more you grow, the more you let go of nonsense. That's the energy that I'm picking up on. The more you level up material-wise and the more you um, level up mentally and emotionally, Leo, it's like the more you run away from nonsense. Anything that's trying to slow you down, you're running away from it. Like, you're avoiding it. You don't want nothing to do with that person, place, or thing anymore. Okay, what else, Spirit? So, that's a good thing. But y'all be careful, because some of y'all, I would say a lot of y'all got people, like, baiting to take, for you to take them back, because they see you doing good. They see you, and it's sad to say, because even if you are in a new relationship with somebody, right, it's like they want to come in and mess it up. They want to come in and mess it up. Like, why? You have already changed. You have already walked away. You have already got over those people, places, and things. It's a wrap. These people think they own you. That's why. Or this person, if it's one person. Yes, this person, somebody's longing for you. They missing you. That's why. They miss you. They miss the times y'all had. Especially if it's friends and family members that you used to deal with that you no longer talk to. They miss the good times y'all had. The, you know, going out, you know, coming together, having some drinks, having these long talks. Ooh, people really want to know your business. They just want to come in and be nosy. Longing, sipping, rumors, gossip, nosy. People are longing to know what you're doing, Leo. They just want to know what you're up to. They baiting for you. So not only they baiting you to take them back in so they can get a piece of the pie, but they also want to know what you're up to. They, these people are nosy. A bunch of nosy ass people. They nosy. And they ain't giving up. They these people really look up to you. Some of y'all literally stepped y'all game up where y'all sitting at I'm hearing y'all sitting at tables now with bosses. Some of y'all are sitting at tables with bosses for real. You know, somebody could be having a tea party or just at somebody's house or somewhere having some drinks at a, at a bar or a club. But y'all could be getting together with a bunch of, some of y'all be careful because y'all could be getting together with people that just really want to know your business. If you let people back in, they just want to know your business, Leo. That's it. Because you somebody that is successful. Like, if you got a new relationship, y'all really have people that's trying to know your business, trying to ask you questions and stuff. Nosy-ass people. Masculine energy. But you you have it under control, it's telling me. You have it under control. Y'all really have people literally gossiping about you. And the same people that want to sit at your table, Leo... The same people that so-called missing you that want to sit at your table and, you know, want to, you know, be around that good energy and you having these benefits or whatever. It's the same people that be talking crazy about you. Literally. Some of you guys, it's your own, a, a father figure. Some of y'all, your own dad gossiping about you. Some of you guys, it could be your own mother gossiping about you. Some of you guys could be your own children's we're going to say baby dad, baby mom talking about you. But they want to sit at your table, though, and eat with you. Is you serious? It's because they're inspired by you, Leo. they inspire and they nosy. They want, to know the, they want to know the scoop. They want to know how you made it. They want to know, you know, what you got going on, who you dealing with. But these people are literally nosy. They nosy. Okay, let's keep it moving. What else do we have, Spirit, for my Leos? Y'all dealing with a bunch of nosy people that just want to sit at the table and eat eat what you have gained. This is all bait. Some of y'all, this is a test. That's exactly what it's telling me. It's a test to see if you're going to go back to the past. See if you're going to continue to go back to those toxic people that just only want to be around you because of the benefits. But y'all find it very beneficial to you by ending it. Maybe you felt like the more you stayed away from talking to people, the more your life got better. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all have met new people, new groups of people that are on the same level as you, Leo. And it's like the past want to come back and try to join. But they can't sit at the table with you because that's not their intent. 
They want to be nosy. They gossiping about you. They're not really your friends. Some of y'all are doing with people that's not really your friends. They just want to have control over you, your life, and what's going on. That's all. They want to know your business. That's all it's about. They want that control. Y'all on the right path. A lot of y'all are definitely on y'all purpose. I feel like you're done watering dead plants. You know, it's over. You own something new, Leo. Y'all have outgrown the past. Y'all have outgrown the past. Some of y'all are giving them dead silence. Some of y'all are giving these people dead silence, literally. But y'all on the right path, Spirit is saying. But Spirit is saying y'all supposed to leave them behind. We got beauty. I'm telling you, the more you leave somebody behind, the more they want to come around. The more they're attracted to you, Leo. Some of y'all life purpose is to be, a, to be a beautician, I'm hearing. Maybe you're supposed to be um, a, in cosmetology. I'm hearing cosmetology. Somebody's purpose is something about health care. Something about, um, I'm hearing like self-care stuff. Like maybe you are meant to um, make beauty products or something. I don't know. Maybe you are meant to do hair, makeup, and nails or something. I'm just hearing... Something about our, like, beauty. Some of y'all are meant to be in a beauty pageant. Maybe you are meant to be a model or something. I'm hearing beauty pageant. I'm hearing model. I'm hearing cosmetology. Cosmetologist, yeah. Um, I'm hearing esthetician. Like, y'all supposed to be doing that type of work. Some of y'all purpose is that. Some of y'all are in the right direction. But spirit is, is steering y'all in the right direction to something about beauty but it's also telling me that your life is getting ready to be more beautiful and more fulfilling leo when i look at life purpose and i look at beautiful i mean beauty basically the same you see what i'm saying but y'all definitely on your purpose and the more you focus on yourself and stop watering dead plants the more your life your life is, is, is i'm hearing grand some of y'all life is grand like y'all just don't understand some of y'all meant to be wealthy but your life is supposed to be better from here on out and I feel like it has been getting better ever since you start watering dead plants, you know. But, yes, you freed yourself. These are not saying people just want to be, y'all got these people stuck, but they wanted you to be stuck. The people that wanted you to be stuck in a rut and struggling like them, I'm telling you, they stuck. Ever since your life has gotten better and you have freed yourself from these people, they feel stuck in a rut. You found yourself. They haven't. You have outgrown these people. You okay with being alone. You okay with loving yourself. You are feeling very safe and secure right now. This is like the nine of pentacles. But it is telling me that y'all are loving your own self and being in your own skin. Some of y'all have definitely switched up some things. Maybe you could be somebody that used to like wear wigs, right? And maybe you're starting to really like you like wear your natural hair a lot more. I'm just getting this authentic energy. Some of you guys are changing y'all looks. Some of y'all are changing y'all appearance. Whether this is the outside. I'm, I'm here. it is the outside and the inside. Because a lot of y'all have changed y'all inner beauty. You know, and now you're making changes to the way you dress, the way you look. You know, I'm just getting this free energy, Leo. Free spirited energy with you guys. I'm hearing Sagittarius, Aquarius energy. Or maybe even like... Yeah, Sagittarius, Aquarius, or Aries energy, or Earth energy. But I am getting that energy where a lot of you guys are in your own bubble. Some of y'all rather just be alone and enjoy the fruits of your labor, you know, than deal with toxic people. Yeah, you are being protected. Y'all know y'all. Y'all protecting yourself, period. Y'all protecting. Some of y'all feel like y'all need to protect yourself from a mother figure, like I said, or a father figure. Whether this is a mom, a dad, or a baby mom, or a baby dad. Some of you guys could be um, loving yourself in your own skin. It's like if you are somebody that is pregnant, maybe you are learning to love yourself in that in that state while you're pregnant. But whether you're you have a stomach or no stomach, you're learning to love yourself, Leo, and every aspect of yourself. You're learning to love it. You see what I'm saying? But um, I am getting that energy. What you are growing, Leo. You are growing. Some of y'all are coming from losing weight to gaining weight, but I feel like I said, you still you still find to love yourself, and no matter what type of 
you know, position that you may be in in regards of your health, you know. Some of y'all, it's the opposite. Some of y'all, maybe you was, was big one time, and now you could be small. I'm just getting some form of a transformation within your, your beauty, your, your appearance, your, you know, stuff like that. But I'm hearing some of y'all are definitely starting to love your, you know, love yourself in your own skin, Leo. And, it, and it's telling you, the more you protect yourself from being, the more you be by yourself and protect yourself from certain people, Leo, the more people are attracted to you, the more they are drawn to you, the more they want to come in, the more they desire you. Then I say that. They want your forgiveness. People are drowning in sorrow, Leo, because you have not only outgrown them, but you have also stopped catering to them. You stopped feeding them your energy. You stopped, I'm just getting this energy. You just left all the bullshit. You left all the BS behind, like literally. And they mad because you, you know, you're not watering them no more. You're not giving them what they want. It is what it is. Okay, let's see how these people feel about you, we all. But I just keep hearing, I am done watering dead plants. That's exactly what I just heard. This is bait. They want to bait you to take them back in. But when you're done, you're done. It ain't going you ain't going back. You own to bigger and better things. You got bigger sh to do. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That's too many. I'm going to take this one and the one that's sticking out. What do you see in me? Nothing. <laughs> Some of y'all, maybe y'all looking at it like that. Maybe you realize the people that you had around you, it really wasn't your type. Whether this was love, whether, I'm hearing, I'm just getting this outcast energy where not only was it your type, but you have like, it's not your circle to be in. You see what I'm saying? You stand out amongst everybody else that wants to come back in your life. It's, I'm getting this outgrown energy. Like I said, you have outgrown everybody, Leo, and the people that you used to entertain and be cool with, you feel like you cannot be in that energy anymore with those people because you have changed, Leo. A lot of y'all have changed. Like y'all have literally changed. Y'all have stepped y'all, y'all on y'all grown woman or y'all grown man stuff. Y'all are surrounding yourself around people who are more like-minded like you, who want to boss up, who want to get to this money, who want to talk about business. You know what I'm saying? It's like, they want to be a part of that. They want to be a part of the vibe. They want to be a part of the winning group, Leo. But like I said, they just, they, they, they talking crazy behind the scenes. Because they really inspired by you. And they ain't giving up. I want to be different. Didn't I say you could be somebody that is standing out amongst everybody because not only you outgrown them, but you just felt like you just don't fit in, you know? Some of y'all feel like y'all just don't fit in with the same type of people that you used to deal with anymore. You know, you own bigger and better things. This is all bait, and I feel like you already know this, and that's why you're protecting yourself. A lot of y'all already know what's up. Y'all already know. But I'm going to go ahead and end it right here, Leo. I hope it resonates with you guys. And y'all take care.